morning, good afternoon, and uh, simply welcome on our uh, on our talk, on our webinar. Uh, so as uh, Rastri introduced us, uh, we will now concentrate on our experience, our uh, results on implementation of uh, XAPS on ONF platform. Uh, so, uh, okay, so let me just briefly uh, show you the outline. And the voice is a bit low. Uh, okay, is it only for you or for the others as well? Yes, it's working just fine, Adria. Because there's in the chat that the voice is low. So, uh, so if you're having any problem with your video or your audio, please just refresh your web browser. Yeah, so that doesn't apply to you, Adrian. You're you're fine. Sure. But sometimes okay. people can't hear so well or can't see so well. It always helps to refresh your web browser window. Go ahead, Adrian. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, so let me briefly uh, show the the outline of uh, of my talk. So firstly, we will I will present the, the reasons why we have selected this particular X app, so this traffic steering X app, uh, and we will show uh, in this traffic steering use case uh, in the reference scenario. So also we will show you some results uh, that we have done before we enter this. Uh, implementation in ONF uh, platform. We we did some uh, local results to 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 have a comparison to, to check if the, the idea wor is working fine, and then we implemented this on this run sim and SD run uh, platform. So after this uh, fourth ballot, we will uh, I will switch uh, the, the floor to uh, to Wukash, uh, who will present in, in real life uh, how it how does it work, how, what, so what are the the benefits and uh, and and drawbacks and the current state simply and after that uh, we will if there will be time we will briefly present the future directions what are our plans and uh, what are the next x, x apps that we are trying we are willing to uh, we will to to implement in the in the future and uh, summary at the end uh, so let me also say the occasion to briefly uh, recap for those who were not listening to the previous uh, webinars uh, of ours uh, so uh, remote labs is uh, uh, remote labs is uh, the spin off at Poznan University of Technology which was established one year ago and our core competences as you can see here on the slide which is uh, simply applied science and wireless communication. So we try to uh, to do some consulting training, but also this implementations and uh, development of our own uh, products, focusing on regular networks like AT, 5G and 6D, and the others as well. But also there are some specific uh, subject matters like spectrum sharing management, especially in CBRS, right resource management, artificial intelligence for wireless systems and private mobile networks, just to mention uh, the few. I also would like to to, to say that uh, I am representing this remote labs and also, as you can see, the spin-off at Poznan University of Technology. I am also the associate professor at this university and Lukasz is uh, finalizing his uh, PhD. Finally, let me also recap this, this presentation. The work was done, uh, was done uh, uh, with the support of uh, Marcin Drzejewski, who maybe some of you had a chance to, to listen before. But okay, so let's go to the detailed use case selection. So uh, as I said, we uh, decided to go for the traffic steering. So just the I mean, justification of why we have selected this some time ago, the Oron Alliance. So I'm for sure you're aware of, of this uh, body and there are some representative of it as well. So uh, Oron Alliance and the phase one, uh, there was, they specified as a consortium, they specify uh, a couple of uh, use cases that will be of uh, the greatest uh, importance and the highest importance at, the, at that time. So just to start with something. And uh, of course, traffic steering was one of uh, one of uh, these. There was also the second phase of uh, uh, Orange Alliance uh, where they, in their documents, they have specified the next round of, uh, of use cases. So in fact, uh, as this is, uh, I mean, living, we can say living document, living area, uh, and flexible area. So of course, these uh, use cases, they can change in time. However, at some point of time, we decided, okay, to go for this traffic steering XAP, one of uh, one of these uh, initial five. And for the in the later stage, we'll concentrate on the others. So, okay, this is the justification. Uh, this is the justification. So uh, we go for this uh, traffic steering and uh, also to introduce the uh, open run and near real time uh, controller. So uh, I will not go into very much details. 
<clears throat> here on, and on that, but uh, we have this uh, non-real-time uh, control, as we can deduce from the name, it's non-real-time, so the, the, the time domain is, uh, time scale is a bit uh, longer, and then we have this near-real-time uh, rig, this controller, here we have A1 interface, uh, and E2 interface, and then we have this termination points, A1T and uh, E2T, and within that, uh, we can say that there is a domain where we can install and place our X apps. And uh, of course, there is there are some other entities, there are some other functionalities for security management and, uh, and so on. Uh, but uh, what we are concentrating on here is that uh, we have uh, we have this X up one, two, and uh, N, and what we are developing here is exactly this uh, this X up, and the rig uh, will be responsible for its uh, uh, say some management, you can say, and, and and controlling of it. So this is this intelligent uh, controller of the near time, near near real time uh, functionalities. Okay, so this is the this is the layer, the domain that we are concentrating on. Uh, so the traffic steering use case, uh, in general, the description. So uh, just to briefly uh, present the, the basic concept, uh, basic concept, and uh, and uh, what is what we what we understand behind this uh, traffic steering. So in, in the very basic approach, uh, we have this uh, UE. Uh, we have this UE, and there are some uh, base stations, some access points, or I mean, transmitter points, uh, and uh, there is the, the, I mean, there's a question, a challenge, in fact, uh, based on all the radio conditions, we have many UEs and how to associate these UEs uh, to these base stations in order to uh, guarantee the performance, in order to uh, to, to maximize some, uh, some, uh, some performance indicators and and uh, and so on, or simply how to serve the user in the best way. Uh, of course, we can choose uh, the SINR as a, as the first criteria, but uh, if there are many users, then probably this uh, this criteria will not be uh, not be the best. So. Uh, there are different uh, also uh, ways, different actions we can perform if you like to steer this traffic so we can offload the traffic from, let's say, this blue base station to the other if this particular uh, base station is a bit, uh, I mean, if there is too much uh, traffic that will be, that should be served by this one. So it will be more beneficial to move this user and this traffic to uh, to the other base station. But also there's another domain that we can separate that if, for example, this blue guy will be uh, the, uh, for example, the macro base station, so the base station which uh, has a bigger coverage, uh, then here we could uh, associate all these services uh, which are necessary Necessary and not that, uh, uh, not that uh, I would say hard. So not uh, so the volume generated by the user will not be that hard. And uh, for example, the video uh, will be served by the small cells. So the macro will, so macro will be responsible for serving only specific type of traffic, and the, the micro cells will be responsible for something else. So there are different options how we can realize this uh, traffic series. And in the rich literature, uh, there are many papers dealing with uh, with uh, with this. So, uh, as I said, uh, our aim and objective is to uh, to uh, flexibly configure uh, the desired parameters through policies uh, to uh, to optimize the performance of the network. And I know that the, the term performance of the network is a bit generic, but I said it intentionally because this performance is something that will be specified by the operator. So the operator should have a chance to specify its own uh, policies. So based on uh, based on measurements reports, for example, like this uh, RSRP or CQI or something else, based on some other statistics, based on uh, as you, I mean, there are some options mentioned here. Uh, the operator, based on his policies, should be able to specify. Okay, I would like to move this traffic from this kind of base station to somewhere else, or maybe vice versa or modify the policies in real time uh, because there is some special event. Uh, so uh, uh, open run, uh, open run in general as a concept uh, will give us this opportunity uh, through these X apps. And uh, our X app is the, this, uh, the, I mean, we have selected this because it offers this, uh, uh, 
I mean, it allows the operator to modify these policies uh, in uh, in real time, so we can change the, these policies. And this uh, rig will be responsible for controlling the adaptation uh, in the particular scenario. Uh, of course, uh, there may be different policies for different kind of uh, traffics and uh, different kinds of traffic, different uh, situations. Then there will be a need for some AI uh, algorithms which will be deployed inside this rig uh, that will be responsible for uh, for general management of uh, all these policies, for example. Uh, okay, so if we if we go through this, uh, if you remember the previous slide, and then we have this note, uh, if you want to analyze what would be the responsibilities of each particular entity. Uh, so if we look here and this, uh, and this on the top of this uh, of this figure, we have this non real time rig, uh, and simply here we have the place where we will, I mean this entity or or, or, the, or the user, I mean the, the, the operator will define and update uh, the policies as I tried to explain uh, play, explain before. Uh, these policies will be uploaded or will be. Uh, delivered through this A1 uh, interface, which is specified in the in the Oran uh, documentations, uh, then we will specify this uh, these policies and put these policies uh, to I mean to execution. In fact, to this near real time uh, real time uh, rig. Then this near real time rig, this controller will be responsible for interpretation and enforcing uh, true realization and just realization of all these uh, policies and also use all the uh, information, all this enrichment information to optimize this uh, controlling function. Uh, and of course, this uh, controlling messages should be delivered to uh, this end nodes, this E2, uh, E2 nodes and uh, execute all the, uh, all the actions. So this is the flow how uh, from, from top when the policy is uh, specified, then this is uh, delivered to say XAP and also the rig will control the traffic steering XAP will use this uh, this policy and the rig will uh, analyze what are the what are the new rules and uh, also will uh, interpret all the all this inf other information from delivered and then it will instruct and send appropriate instructions to this uh, uh, nodes below. I'm, I was uh, um, I was discussing about the policies uh, so the policy again, we can uh, we can go back and uh, see what all an alliance has specified, which is very important. Uh, so then we can see uh, in one of this uh, one of this or an alliance documents, we can say standards. Uh, there is a way how uh, how uh, how this particular policies should be uh, should be defined. Uh, so. It, it could be, for example, in this, uh, I don't know, JSON or whatever form, uh, there is one specific, uh, specific uh, example. And uh, we can see that there is a list of, uh, quite a detailed list of uh, necessary items. Uh, in our, in our um, implementation, in our uh, experiments, we have uh, selected some of them. In fact, we, we focused on the preference just to, I mean, to start with with, with some uh, with something so and to show uh, easily the, the, the benefits uh, we uh, we implemented uh, this uh, part that uh, we have this uh, preference and uh, there are four levels of preference uh, i mean shall prefer avoid and uh, forbid so some of them are uh, more stronger some of them are, are weaker uh, requirements and uh, we used uh, i mean we uh, followed this uh, we followed this uh, scheme specified by uh, Oran Alliance uh, where we use this preference as a as a, as a important part of our policy so just to give you an example uh, how it can be realized uh, this is also from this Oran Alliance's um, documentations so for example you can see here that uh, there is the preference prefer for cell id uh, 90, uh, 90, 39, sorry, and, and 40 uh, for the user ID 855. So this is the uh, policy, which is, I mean, for the traffic steering per UE. We can also do a more uh, advanced, uh, more advanced, um, uh, we can have more, we could have a more advanced approach where we specify the traffic steering policies per 
uh, slides, which is uh, quite important if we are concentrating on 5G and, and, and beyond. So uh, in general, we can see that this policy, if we uh, if we squeeze it to the to the necessary uh, items, uh, necessary from the of course op operator perspective. So so the simplest case would be just to specify this uh, preference, uh, and uh, this is an example how this policy could be uh, defined. And we follow this, and this is uh, this is uh, implemented. So now, uh, just to give you an, ex an example of how the implementation could be uh, could be realized. So imagine, and in our in our implementation, we have uh, also considered the heterogeneous case where we have one macro base station. So this is the GNode B, uh, which is uh, able to use two frequencies, freq one and uh, freq one and freq two. Uh, we denote that uh, this uh, cell, which is created by using frequency one and frequency two, is cell zero and cell one. Cell one. Then we uh, we assume also that there are four small cells which are uh, a bit separated from each other. And uh, the same uh, policy is applied that uh, this uh, small G node B uh, can also have frequency uh, three and four, and this uh, end up with uh, a smaller, bigger uh, circle. And then we have two kind of two kinds of um, UEs. One is for voice. One is for MBB. Uh, so. Uh, not so very high traffic we can say mobile broadband and uh, not that uh, high traffic and uh, these are marked here um, with the color coding so black ues are for mbb and uh, and gray ues are for voice uh, so the question is how we should allocate these users to guarantee uh, to guarantee the required, uh, for example, throughput or latency or whatever. So, for example, this uh, black one should be connected to the macro base station with safe cell frequency one or two, or maybe it should be connected to some, someone else, somewhere else. Okay, for example, this one is quite easy to say because it's the closest is this genome to be. But if we are discussing about that one, uh, the answer is not that uh, obvious. And of course, if we multiply the number of users and the number of users is uh, much, much, uh, is a quite a good number. So then this, uh, the problem of this steering of the traffic becoming more, uh, more challenging. And then if we extend this problem by uh, definition of some new policies that the policies uh, defined by the operator could change in time, then uh, this problem should be probably realized. Uh, okay, it can be hard coded, but also there could be AI engine behind of uh, of uh, of it. So this rig that can help us to to uh, to select the best policy and so on. Uh, so, I mean, the same, uh, the same figure as before, but from different perspectives. So, uh, we have the layer of UEs, uh, we have these macro base stations, and we have the small cells. Then we have the rig, which has a connection, so which is on top of it. And we have this uh, traffic steering or cell association XAP, which uh, will be able to switch between cell 0 and cell 1, and also between uh, within the small cell layer also between cell two and cell three, but also between macro base station and small cell. So simply the, the the goal of this cell association is to, based on the policies, to assign users to do the best, uh, best base, base station. So as a result, we can imagine this is a very simple example. Uh, so originally, uh, sorry, originally we will see that, okay, this is the this is the connection association better association of the UEs to the macro or small cell and as the consequence as the result of execution of the X app we will have the suggestion okay that this user should be or okay the preference could be forbid or avoid macro base station and go to small cell and for the uh, voice user the the preference should be forbid small cells and go to to macro base station because because then we will optimize some uh, some performance criteria uh, so how and uh, from the implementation point of view I will of course not show the the code but uh, uh, we can imagine that uh, if we will have this policies we have this nice word like this prefer avoid shall and forbid uh, it should be somehow somehow mapped to some numbers and uh, it will be delivered to the rig so it can be realized uh, for example in that way that default will be zero so there will be no preferences but then if we prefer uh, some base station we could put some additional weight 
uh, it will be 10 and uh, and uh, and if it should be avoided it should be for, for example minus 10 and uh, these numbers uh, will be as as uh, ukash will explain in detail during the uh, the, um, the hands on lab uh, these numbers these are uh, they are used to uh, simply modify the uh, modify the um, the, the preferences or the quality of signal uh, when which the user is uh, uh, observing this is uh, the approach for uh, which is well known from lte and uh, new radio as uh, set range extension and there is uh, a flexibility of uh, adding some uh, additional uh, additional let's say offset uh, and these number can be these numbers can be mapped to this offset then to uh, allow the uh, allow the new association of uh, of user to different uh, base station uh, and then uh, these are the the list of uh, of uh, parameters that are necessary to uh, to perform it uh, what will be the policies uh, so these are the <clears throat> the ways where what the uh, operator is uh, i mean the, the preference of the operator and the policy itself from the uh, implementation perspective it could be defined as uh, as you can see here there are three uh, policies which we called default offload separate uh, and so on and this uh, offload uh, could be understood in that way that uh, we have uh, this uh, orange uh, orange uh, rectangle that represents the the, the cell id of uh, uh, of pico what's more cell id one is uh, represents pico base station and uh, we can see that uh, when we select offloading then a voice uh, a voice user should avoid uh, Pico base station, and uh, then uh, if we have uh, if we have this offload policy, uh, then uh, users of uh, I mean MBB group, uh, then these users should prefer uh, association with the base station. Uh, this is uh, of course very uh, illustrative and simple example. We can specify these policies in much more advanced way, but then to visualize visualize something and to show. Uh, how does it work? Uh, these are uh, three exemplary, uh, three policies, the example of three examples of uh, of policies. Uh, as I said uh, previously, this is maybe not that important from the XAP, uh, XAP um, presentation, but uh, just to show you how uh, how we have uh, developed everything. So before we go into uh, before we go into the uh, implementation we wanted to have the reference scenario to compare the results if we are dealing with uh, the right numbers at the end uh, so uh, we implement something in our, our environment uh, with some python code uh, this is uh, mm, on the left side uh, we see uh, i mean the policy is default so there is no traffic steering preferences specified here uh, so simply the association of users will be based on the received power so uh, we can see that uh, i mean this if we focus on the left side and the right side these are quite the same uh, figures uh, so there are no difference so we can say that the users will be simply associated based on the uh, received power so these colors green uh, violet and the others they represent the the color code of the base station so for example when we are here uh, then uh, when the user is located within this i mean inside this area it will be associated to this uh, small cell g node b if it will be in this area where we have this uh, violet color then it will be associated with this particular g node b and so on so this is the the case of the user association to the g node b if we do not have any specific uh, policies specified so this is quite uh, let's say traditional approach for the user uh, association but when for some reasons the um, electro operator would like to change the policies to offload so conceptually the issue is to offload all the heavy users so this mobile broadband users to the closer base stations which we can guess this base station is closer to us we should have a stronger signal so the better quality of signal should be observed by the by the user so then uh, the effective coverage area should be extended so when we apply this offloading when we add this additional uh, with the add this additional offset then comparing to this case uh, so if we concentrate on the right side uh, we can see that this uh, dark blue color this is the original the original coverage area 
and then it is extended a bit. Uh, so we can see that only when the when the MBB user will be close to the base station, uh, macro base station will be associated associated to this particular base station. Otherwise, it will be connected to the small cell, which is the preferred uh, preferred action. And of course, on the opposite, we will have these voice users, which are not that. Uh, um, heavy from the perspective of uh, the traffic which is generated of course latency is important but now we are dealing more on uh, on this example on, on the on the on the, um, on the rate uh, so the rate is much uh, less than for the mbb and then of course the uh, the association area for the macro base station then it is uh, much bigger than if we compare it to the previous case where we have this default policy and uh, we also verified if this concept is working well because previously, I mean, these two figures, they represent uh, illustratively how the coverage area is changed. And then uh, we also compare how the uh, how the bit rate is, uh, is changing. Uh, so here you can see that uh, we have this, uh, and this uh, small blue uh, squares. This represents the small cells uh, and the user which are associated with these uh, small cells and of course the other are associated with the macro base station we additionally we do not uh, show these links to simply uh, uh, to, to make this this picture <laughs> clear and easily understandable uh, so this is the original uh, original case the numbers represents the, the observed uh, rate by this user uh, and here we have this uh, cumulative density function uh, of uh, the bit rate and the megabits per, per second for all the users. This is the black curve and uh, and uh, for specific uh, for specific uh, types of users. So this is the original original case and then we observe some outage so some there is uh, I mean so many users that some of them will not be served uh, due to the lack of resources and uh, or the or the poor quality of service uh, poor SNR sorry uh, then uh, this can be represented as this outage probability for all users like that all voice users have been connected and MBB is like that when we applied when we change the policy association from default to offload then we can see the great improvement uh, in terms of outage uh, for of course for this particular case right so just remember this is for this particular deployment if of course deployment will be different if the number of users will be different then of course all these results will uh, will change but then uh, what we can see here in this example that uh, this approach is uh, promising we can say because we can see that uh, most of the uh, mbb user they have observed uh, higher bit rate. Uh, the, of course, the cost is that the uh, voice user they have lower bit rate, but all of them, uh, this uh, uh, vertical line, vertical dashed line, they represent the minimum required uh, minimum required um, rate. So, in fact, 80% of all this uh, voice user they still have. Uh, sorry, this, what, different colors. I, I missed colors. Mixed colors. So that uh, all the users they have, uh, this is for voice, uh, all the users they have, uh, in fact, the required bit rate guaranteed. So we modified the association. Uh, all the user or most of the user are saved in the much better rate. We have reduced the outage. So we can see that, of course, there is, uh, there is a room for network performance improvement through the association of this uh, policy. Okay, and this is the reference scenario. We take this, uh, we take everything what we have implemented with some AI tools uh, inside uh, as a reference, and then we move to uh, run sim and SD run implementation. Uh, for those, uh, I mean, just to briefly uh, recap, this is the slide taken exactly from the Open Network Foundation web page. So uh, uh, for those who are more interested in details, uh, we encourage to, to, to go uh, here uh, to, to analyze all these specific aspects of this uh, architecture. Uh, so in our case, we are, of course, designing this uh, XAP and uh, we are in this um, near real time uh, rig which is uh, inside here. From non-real time, we get some uh, instructions uh, through this uh, uh, A1 interface. Uh, and here inside, we have what they called Micronos. 
And Micronos is, uh, uh, as they say, is the heart of ONF SD-RAN architecture. So everything what you can see here is the SD-RAN uh, architecture when inside there is this ONF uh, manufactured uh, RIC, this controller, which is uh, called uh, um, Micronos. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's uh, uh, all from that uh, part. Uh, and okay, and then if we go into more details, uh, also this uh, particular slide is taken uh, from the uh, ONF uh, and SDRAN uh, webpage, so uh, they're publicly available and the, and the videos, and uh, and you can easily go there to to go for all these details of all these blogs. Of course, this is not the topic of this presentation to analyze everything uh, in detail, uh, but this is a generic uh, instruction. So we can see on the left side that uh, uh, we can either use uh, either use the hardware. Uh, this is open air, open air interface mentioned here, but this could be 4G core. I mean, some hardware could be used. Uh, on the other side, we can use also this run sim, uh, which, as name suggests, is some uh, simulator of uh, of uh, of run. Uh, in our approach, we concentrated on this uh, on this part, and then we have this uh, Micronos uh, rig with some uh, with some um, entities and tools inside. And uh, on top of it, we have uh, what we have. So now we have this uh, uh, three X apps, which are already developed. And uh, what we have the we have developed is we based on that we added this uh, traffic steering X app, uh, which is uh, able to get some policies. Okay, we defined them in the YAML file, but the format is not that important. We can switch from YAML to JSON or to anything else which will be necessary. This is just a simple text file uh, and very, uh, very light, uh, very um, not, not that heavy. Uh, and uh, then uh, we have a dedicated interfaces uh, through this uh, Golang SDK. Uh, and through uh, Onos E2T uh, interface. And then there are some, of course, uh, as this is the development phase also from the Micronos perspective, uh, not all the APIs are uh, available. So uh, all the time where we are able to use the delivered APIs, we, we did it. And sometimes we need to, sometimes we need to bypass some, uh, some functions, for example, some interfaces, uh, programming interfaces, which were not uh, implemented yet. So then we need to go, I mean, we need to make some bypassing, uh, which is indicated by this, <laughs> by this line. But uh, as long as we can, we, uh, we used what is in this uh, SDRAN 1.2, which was released in July uh, 21. Now, of course, when you go into uh, into that web page, there is uh, 1.3 and 1.4 is under development. Uh, in order to visualize everything, what we have added uh, is this uh, API to Rima the portal, uh, which is the you can say web page, uh, which is the web page where we can log in, and uh, then you can see uh, then you can see all the uh, all the base stations as you you can see here ukas will show it in detail uh, another base station so we have micro base station and uh, micro base station micro base station and we have this ues uh, Poznan is the city where we are living so that's why we have selected this of course uh, and then uh, and then what we uh, what we can see here uh, there are some uh, locations of this uh, ues and uh, Yes, and I think it's a good time to to switch to uh, Lukash. So, Russell, I should, I believe, uh, turn off uh, sharing, and Lukash should uh, probably start his part, right? Yeah, go ahead, okay, uh, Lukash. Lukash. Thanks so much for that, Adrian. Very good. I will come back later on just to summarize everything. Okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, I will. Um, show some example of uh, usage of our um, X app uh, in this uh, SD-RAN environment. But uh, uh, as we know, uh, this uh, live uh, de demonstrations are very problematic. So, uh, I, so my presentation based on uh, some short video uh, as I made to demonstrate everything without any um, problems. Uh, so uh, let's start with uh, the um, with the 
table uh, on the left side uh, where we can observe all uh, pods uh, running in Kubernetes cluster now. Uh, so uh, basically this is the starting point of uh, the um, SD run uh, installation. Uh, so um, every component of uh, already presented uh, um, uh, Micronos uh, uh, environment are, are visible here. And we have also this uh, uh, run simulator uh, as the main um, as the main uh, part of of this uh, system. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, now we can uh, observe that uh, our X app is uh, not working uh, yet, um, and we just. Uh, calling uh, some make files very sh short uh, uh, scripts uh, which simply creates pods all necessary pods so deployment and services uh, for both uh, for traffic steering uh, x app and uh, for x app portal so as adrian uh, mentioned some additional uh, software which uh, help us to present everything and to control uh, our x app uh, so, okay, in meantime, uh, we can observe that these two additional uh, pods are uh, currently uh, creating and running. So we can uh, move a bit forward to, to just um, skip this waiting time. <clears throat> Okay, uh, now we can observe the spots are already uh, okay. And uh, our uh, portal app is uh, working. Uh, so let's start with uh, this view. Uh, we can see here the selected policy on the top of uh, web page, uh, which is uh, default. Uh, it is called like this uh, just to uh, simulate the, that uh, there is no policy selected now. Uh, so the default behavior of the uh, network. Uh, on the left side, we have a map with uh, two visible uh, towers, so uh, base, two base stations. Uh, and each of them consists of uh, three cells. And in the table on the right side, uh, we can observe all cells listed with their positions. Uh, here we have uh, some um, API also to switch uh, type of uh, given cells. So uh, for now, I switched the left um, base station, so all three cells to type of small cell and the right base station is still uh, a macro base station. Okay, and in tab uh, UE, uh, we have uh, five UEs, uh, which uh, will be uh, two of type uh, mobile uh, broadband and uh, three of type uh, voice. And uh, now I am just moving the cells to to different location. Okay. And uh, now just I, I just uh, uh, run and show the uh, the logs of uh, our X app to to show everything. Okay. Okay, and uh, the current view can be treated as a starting point of uh, analysis of uh, this uh, traffic steering uh, work. Uh, so in this logs, uh, we can observe um, that we have five uh, UEs and uh, the traffic steering indicates simply uh, to which cell uh, this connection should be uh, performed. and. Uh, what is import important, we also this um, saying here, uh, what uh, pre preference should be used. So it is now uh, default for uh, every cell. So uh, as uh, we can see, uh, the 
all cells, all UEs are connect associated to cells uh, with the uh, strongest uh, received power, simply. <clears throat> okay, and now if we select uh, policy as an offload, so this offloading, uh, what is uh, maybe also important, uh, and I forgot to say it, uh, we are using now uh, this set of free uh, policies uh, which are which were presented uh, by Adrian. So we have default offload and separate. And in uh, offload policy, uh, we are trying to move um, MBB users to small cell and uh, voice user uh, to simply avoid um, small cell. Uh, and uh, now we can observe that uh, uh, this UE in the middle of, of the five UEs uh, is switched to small cell. Um, and uh, on the left side, so the first uh, from the left uh, UE, uh, uh, okay, the uh, second one is uh, uh, of, it is UE of type uh, voice. Uh, so it should avoid uh, small cell, but it is still connected to this one, just because uh, this preference avoid is still uh, too low to to connect to different stations. So simply this UE is too close to uh, to this, this small cell to simply associate with any other uh, cell. And in logs now we can observe that uh, this uh, uh, first UE, so first from the left side uh, is using is connected to small cell using prefer uh, preference. Uh, second one, uh, as I already said, uh, it is a voice type and it uh, is connected to small cell but using the avoid preference. And then we have this uh, middle uh, UE which is connected to small cell using prefer uh, preference. Uh, the rest two uh, is uh, simply connected uh, to macro cell um, using the default preference. <clears throat> okay. And now, if we look at the third uh, policy selected, so separate, uh, now uh, we have uh, two different preferences uh, used in this example. So uh, uh, there is uh, no uh, prefer but uh, shall, and there is no avoid but uh, forbid. And uh, in this uh, particular example, um, we can observe that uh, to small cell, uh, there are the two UEs are connected. Uh, so both uh, MBB users. And uh, to macro base station, macro cell, uh, there is uh, three. So all voice users or <clears throat> all vo voice UEs are uh, connected. And uh, the same we can observe in uh, these logs that UV1 and 3, so MBB, are connected to small cell using shell preference. Uh, okay. And uh, this. Uh, list of um, of um, policies uh, is basically um, can be dynamically changed so now uh, we can observe the uh, initial um, policy set so the same as uh, we had on the presentation and in meantime we can uh, demonstrate uh, additional two um, preference to uh, policies uh, created in meantime just. Uh, so for example, we can uh, create the inverse separate policy where uh, the voice user shall be connected with small cell and MBB users uh, shouldn't be connected with a small cell. And for example, uh, last uh, policy where we can call it only macro. Uh, where uh, voice, um, both voice users and MBB users shall uh, forbid 
uh, shouldn't be connected to small cells. So they are using preference uh, for bit. Okay. Uh, now I'm just uh, typing, I'm just uh, running uh, one simple script to push such file to inside the container with uh, the uh, traffic steering. So just because uh, for now this is a file uh, near um, X up, uh, but uh, it will be uh, sent by this A1 interface. So this step could be uh, later uh, skipped simply. And uh, now I need to um, skip uh, a few frames just as I didn't save this uh, policy file. That's why we, uh, we don't have such update. So after repeating the steps and uh, refreshing a web page, okay. Uh, now we can observe that we have two additional policies. So this inverse separate and only macro. And uh, if we select this uh, invert separate, uh, then we see that for small cell, uh, both um, all three uh, voice users are connected and for a macro base station, the MBB users are connected. And the same thing we can observe in logs. So the selected policy is inverse separating and uh, all voice users are using shell preference for small cell. And uh, the last um, example of uh, policy. So if we select this only macro, then uh, as we remember, uh, all types of users uh, have uh, forbid preference for small cell. That's why all five uh, UEs are connected to uh, macro cell. And uh, every uh, one is uh, now using the default preference as uh, uh, this shell is only for the not connected uh, cell. So, uh, yeah, so basically that's uh, the, uh, everything what I wanted to demonstrate in, in this uh, video, in this short uh, demonstration. And uh, I'm giving the uh, floor uh, back to, to Adrian. Thank you. Uh, okay, so so just because we are, I mean, it's quite late now. Uh, so let me just very briefly um, summarize everything, and maybe just showing the future directions how we would like to evolve this uh, this uh, experience and this exercise. Uh, so uh, of course uh, we would like to. We are cooperating with uh, ONF to 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 make it. Uh, for the integration of this uh, XAP with the ONF platform. Uh, and we would like to extend this traffic string to, I mean, by including radio resource management. So very low, uh, I mean, short time uh, decisions and spectrum management, flexible spectrum management. So much longer uh, time decisions and also develop uh, the others. Okay, I will maybe skip this one just to, uh, okay, maybe go here. Uh, so we would like to simply develop this uh, this traffic string into, I mean, for different time scales. So traffic string with some certain time scale, then we go for shorter and longer time scale, and these will work together. So we have I didn't show it intentionally, but we have it already implemented in this local reference scenario, and then we will try to put it as a part of this um, uh, based on on this ONF platform. And what we are preparing for is to uh, implement this massive beam optimization, where we will design some beam formings based on some uh, rules and how to opt. I mean to optimize this uh, process uh, and then uh, for some uh, dynamic handover management for v2 x so these are these two choice uh, these two options of our choice uh, and uh, briefly summarize uh, there are different questions i try to all answer them already but to summarize uh, we have implemented the, uh, this uh, and integrated as much as we can uh, as a developers 
based on the platform that is available with some APIs. We have implemented this uh, traffic steering, uh, adding this uh, uh, web uh, interface where we can in real time, we can modify the policies and we can see how the users will be should be associated or could be associated to uh, this or that base station. Uh, as I said, uh, we um, we based on this uh, S-Drone on the two, as there is 1.3 uh, released, we are uh, integrated this one, this one, and we're working on 1.4 as well. And for the future, we are going to develop these uh, others uh, exams. So I believe it uh, concludes my talk.